Told you what to chase. Told you how to run the road. Everybody, and welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new to just trying to get some Easter basket ideas for your kids and for your business. So, if you haven't already described, subscribe to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I got a lot of information I pop out um, as much as I can. What I've done here is a um, Coca Melon Easter basket, Easter chair. And what I just explained to my um, Instagram people as I'm posting these chairs and these boxes. Anybody that gets a box or a chair since it's a non-traditional basket is more like an Easter gift. They'll get an Easter basket for free. I give them one of the little um, Dollar Tree Easter baskets. You know the wooden ones. I got these right here. Those, since I haven't really made too many of those, I'll give them one of those for free with no pressure. Okay? But anyway, I got this Coca Melon doll. It is $25.99 at Walmart, but I got it for $15 or $12. It was on the back alley in clearance. It was back there in the toy section where the clearance is. So if you see this doll, even if you don't see the clearance sticker, more than likely this doll is $12 or $15. So, because I'm going to sell this chair for $80, I didn't mind spending just say the $15 on him. Because he's what bringing value to my gift right here. This doll is $25 retail, so that's what I would put it as, $25 retail. Tell. And if I times that times three to get my money back, which ain't nobody going to pay $75 for a doll, but they'll definitely pay $80 with this chair. Okay? It's a chair that kid can sit. Somebody asked how old a kid can be, like what's the age limit on the chairs. So people are wanting to know because they can use this chair for their kids to sit in. Okay? So, what I did was I took this gift that I got from Walmart, like I said, $15. Or I'll show you this one that came from Dollar Tree. But anyway, I got the puzzle that I got from Dollar Tree. Some ruffles. Some little Easter Smarties. And I just glued, I mean, taped some other little goldfish and teddy crackers on here. Uh, my fudge spray. I take that all the stuff to the, to the side because it was already full once I put that box here. After that... I put some animal snacks, some cheddar things. I filled the cup up. I got this from Party City for a dollar. Um, different little stuff. This came from my candy warehouse. This came out of Walmart as well. That was $4.99, $4.95. You've seen these packs probably. I got them in like Frozen. And um, they had a couple of more characters. These are in Walmart. And they give you eight. So I felt like it's definitely under a dollar when you get them like that. Um, so that is that pack that came out of that which bring more of my character out. Um, I got me some rice crispy treats, some bubbles, little snacks and stuff like that. Once I got done, I only ended up with my four Dollar Tree items which were 125 and I'm going to say four items because I paid the full 125 Everything like this was Dollar Tree but it was um, 10 for 125 so that's like 12 cents. These was like $44, $11 if you get them out of um, Walmart. So a lot of this stuff is only between, like I said, $12, $19, $16. Um, the chips was like $0.42. Cent. So what I do to give or take my price and not have to worry about counting the cents, I do everything at $0.35. Cent. So even though that was $0.12, cent, I do that at $0.35. Cent. And until this at $0.35, cent, even though it was a little over. But that gave me my overage as far as sales tax went, which I didn't pay sales tax at my warehouse because I'm tax exempt. But anyway... I just round my smaller stuff off to give me that 35 cent. I know that some of it is under, some of it is over, but it'll base it out, you know. So if I did everything at 35 cent, I basically put um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to say the candy in there is 9 with that 9, 10, 11. I put 13 snacks, and that's about how much I've been putting per each one um between 10 and 13 i haven't went over 13 yet but that's basically what i'll be putting in here and as far as four items now that 13 cent would basically be three dollars and ninety cents four dollars so we're gonna say we've already put four dollars in here plus him 15 make that go ahead and make that 20. that's twenty dollars that i spent in it already my four dollar tree items i have one two i'm gonna count that as a thirty uh, dollar tree item as well even though it wasn't a dollar it was a dollar so I have one, two, three. This was a dollar. That makes four. That's all of my Dollar Tree items that I have in here, which four items is five dollars. We don't have to worry about the tax because while I was rounding it off, 
they definitely gave us four dollars with tax it's only like um 80 some 90 some six something like five dollars and some change okay so we don't have to worry about that rounding off in tax we got all other five that's 25 dollars the chair was five dollars that's 30. so in all of i spent 30 dollars to make this chair if i sell it for 80 i'm going to make a 50 dollar profit i'm definitely going to sell it for 80 because this is a 25 dollar toy now i can sell it for However much I know, I know that I put 30 in here. If I want to make 30 off of it, I'll sell it for 60, 65 at the least. That's giving me a $35 profit. But right now, I'm going to get the maximum amount of my profit because of that doll right there. It's already $25. And then we just add the cheddar treats and stuff like that just to get it wrapped up cute with a bow. They're definitely going to pay $80, but I know my minimum that I will take is $75, okay? But them seeing that big old toy, they know how much Coco is. Coco used to be $39.99, honey. I don't bought Leah one. So they know the fact that this doll, it eats. It got some food in here. Um, It's like a baby alive almost. You can feed him. You can definitely feed him. Feed me, disappearing food. He want them wet the bed diaper. I don't like them babies. You got to change the diaper. Leo, come up here to my baby needs some diaper. Honey, them pass me $6, baby. Your baby gonna be walking around pissed and messing with me for some $5, $3 little diapers for baby alive. But I don't skip the subject. I'm sorry, y'all. Cocomelly don't need no diapers. He just feed and he sang. Listen to this. It's snack time. It's snack time. He hungry already. This is the way we put on our <laughs> Anyway, just had to show y'all a little sample of that. That's a nice doll they're getting in his thing for $80. It could have went more. But I didn't pile as much treats as I want on here. I only put 13 items in here. And it really don't look like I put that much. I guess because everything is kind of ducked off to the back and on the side. But yeah, I'm going to sell this for $80, no less than $75, and $75 will really be cheating myself because Coco Miller up there, he got food and everything, and he's saying, okay? On to this one, um, I did a box, as you know, I did the box from USPS, you can get a box from anywhere you see in the store that has the buckets, sometimes they break them down, don't worry about it, unbreak them down with your tape, fold them back up, tape them up, then wrap them. Dollar Tree be having a lot of, they break their boxes down too and they put them in the back. So if they haven't taken them out already, ask them do y'all have any broken down boxes in the back. That may help you too. It doesn't matter. I like this box size. It's easy for me because they ship them in for me for free. I don't have to go out there and find them. But for you all that don't have any, any store kind of have boxes. Any aisles, sometimes they be on the aisles. Sometimes they be broken down in the budget. Sometimes they be in the back. You just got to ask them, hey, y'all got some boxes in the back that I can get. If you was moving and you needed boxes, you'll probably do that same thing. Um, but, yeah, get you some boxes. Wrap it up with the paper. I just found out that um, Dollar General has their wrapping paper for a dollar. Dollar Tree has it 125 This wrapping paper from Dollar Tree, I got three boxes. The character wrapping papers over there, like that Spider-Man, I only got two boxes. But for $1.25, you can't be beat it because this box is what's going to stand out to people that's an untraditional easter gift okay everybody in my city doing baskets i don't step my game up on doing boxes and chairs okay thanks lbe elaine yeah so that's what's gonna bring make us different from all these other people i got people posting baskets left and right i'm seeing coming down my timeline but i am different this what difference me makes me different from everyone else and i'm loving it okay so definitely if you can get you some boxes go ahead wrap it up to make yourself stand out amongst the other basket people in your city okay i got snacks back here i also got um different little a handful of can i just throw back there to take up that space but i put my snacks in the back now i did this is just for you to comment y'all she said don't hide your snacks listen i don't want to say i'm one of them people but certain snacks i don't eat so I did hide the Dollar Tree snacks. I'm sorry, I did hide them. The ruffle sticking out a little. I'm trying to make sure that my fudge scrapes stick out a little. But um, yeah, so when you see that I said hide them, I do, I did hide my Dollar Tree snacks. Okay, I'm sorry. But it helps push my basket out versus me putting all this in the back and everything is covering that up. Because it's a character basket, I just want them to mainly see that character all over this place. Because when I'm selling it as a character basket, even though I got snacks in it, I don't care about showing off my snacks itself, like the stuff that can fit in the front that's smaller. All those little bitty packages I got, even goldfish, I like to show goldfish. But these little smaller packages like this, I don't mind these being laid off in the back so it can bring out my coca Mila items more. So yes, hide your snacks that you don't really care for. I don't really care for those snacks 
in my opinion. But I'm sure some of y'all love those snacks. But just in my opinion, I got to hide those snacks, okay? I just got to hide those snacks. I'm sorry. And it helps push my basket out so I don't have to cover up my character stuff. So, yeah, if you got put all your little stuff, you can put as much as you can to bring your basket out in some. And then just start layering your coca milk and stuff like I've done here. Um, what I did get from Dollar Tree, which this basket is a full Dollar Tree basket itself. The cup came from Florida City. This came from my candy warehouse. This package came from Walmart. And everything else is Dollar Tree or something that I brought boxed in like the 50 pack of chips or the uh, 36 count of fudge, stripes, stuff like that. So I count them as an item. I've already written down how much I put in this basket and where did I put it at. So I don't have to be count over with y'all. Heck, I'll be don't count it by the time I find the thing. I remember moving it because I looked like I had no... I said, let me move that before I be don't put that in the camera. And they be like, oh, she don't scribble scrub it all over that paper. And I hid it from myself. There you go, y'all. Okay, so. In this basket right here, I put... Eight, um, nine items that was Dollar Tree that I maxed out at 125 like this giant coloring book. This coloring book is so big, y'all, it actually goes all the way down to the bottom of this basket. I pushed it all the way down to the bottom. This is a very big coloring book. It's tall as this box. That's how tall it is. But I pushed it down so I don't have to worry about having that big, big bag, which I'm going to have to have it anyway. So, um, I have the coloring book. I got some Play-Doh, which was a five-pack set. I put the whole set in there. I got some bubbles. This Dollar Tree um, coloring activity pack actually has some crayons or markers, whatever that is. I got a puzzle set. I have the eight water tablets that change the baby water, the play pack from um, Walmart, and the cup. Those are the only items that I put as Coca Mini. Mind you, this is only one, two, three, four, five. Five coca milling items in this basket. And that's all that it takes to bring out your character basket and be able to sell it higher than your regular normal boxes or basket or whatever it is, okay? This is what's going to make you sell it more, um, the character. So even though I only have five characters in there, I'm calling that a character basket. And this box is going to sell for $60 because it's a character. Now, had I got this box, just this box by itself, I can sell it for $40. But because I got coca milling in there... It boosts up the value of the value basket to me because when I buy little baskets and we was paying all that money for them character baskets, they didn't even have much in there as a character, y'all. But me just seeing Coca Melly that one time in that basket, Leah like Coca Melly, that's the basket I'm gonna get because you know I see Coca Melly and when she opened it up and she see Coca Melly. I don't care if it's two Coca Melly items in here. The fact that that kid see Coca Melly and that's somebody she watches on TV. It's going to be amazing to them as an Easter basket. So, you don't have to have a whole heap of character stuff in your basket like I did for um, Peppa Pig. I just want to make that clear. Don't think that you got to have a lot of Coca Milly, um items or Peppa Pig or whatever it is. If you could just find two in your Dollar Tree or Family Dollar Walmart, inexpensive, that going to help bring out your basket. Because like I said, when that kid see that one little face of whoever they like and they've been seeing on that TV in their baskets, they're going to be excited. So, for those of you that's coming and saying you re can't really find that many items, go from store to store. At least try as many stores as you can within the distance. Don't go too far. But even if you get a couple that's, and stick it up front, that's all you need for your character basket. So, I can say for those that's crying about not finding something. You can still make it, honey. Just put a couple things in there. Add all this stuff like I did. Um, besides the bubbles, the uh, Play-Doh, the puzzle, the activity set. It's really not much besides this car, this little motorcycle car. I already taped it down. But this is a motorcycle car I got from Dollar Tree. They have them in, they have them in green, purple, and red. I think orange as well. But um, I stuck that car in there. I stuck a Peeps for those that was like, my traditional basket has Peeps in it. I do have Peeps. I am kind of sticking them in my other little baskets like this. But I stick them where I can fit them, okay? I like peeps. I eat peeps myself. Nobody else in my household eats peeps. My cousin them that came over here last year when I had peeps left, none of them liked them. I mean, it 
it just I mean I don't know how to say it but I know it's a traditional bash and I'm sticking it in and out but not everybody likes it not everybody likes what I like nobody not everybody likes what I don't like you know what I'm trying to say but either way it go I didn't put my traditional stuff in all of my baskets because maybe it don't fit even though I have it it might just don't fit in jelly beans I don't allow my kids to eat jelly beans because they get stuck in their teeth so I don't put them in my baskets because I don't like that gummy candy and you know we want our kids to, to have perfect teeth as much as we could so I don't enable them with snacks that's gonna get in their teeth like chewy that gummy I just don't I just don't like gummy um, jelly beans I never have so in my preference I don't put them in my baskets so that's just my preference so that's why you don't see any traditional jelly beans peeps come and go and um, marshmallow, the chocolate marshmallows, I couldn't, I really don't have any of those. Or the chocolate bunnies, I had those last year. But being that I'm going to be on the street this year, I don't want a chance that big old bunny getting caught in the sun and melting in that, uh, that chocolate melting. And because these kids' ba baskets, I don't even want to risk having to go back and take it or loosen all of that stuff like I was doing for Valentine's Day. Even though Valentine's Day, nothing melted, I just didn't want to go through that with a child basket. Quick, simple, easy, we don't have no complications at all. But now that I've explained and touched bases on some of the comments that I got, that is all, y'all. That is all. This basket is basically a full Dollar Tree basket. Like I said, I put 13 smaller items like this in them, right round them off. We're looking at $4 for all of those items. And then I got nine full Dollar Tree items. So in all, I put $18 in this basket. $18 y'all if I sell it for 50 that'll be a $32 profit which is not bad because it really don't have many cocomina items but it does touch on that kid's favorite character so I can definitely sell this for $50 really $45 um, and still be okay I feel like I want to add another bag of chips or a couple more pieces of candy in here to give it that $50 value because right now I don't feel like I got much even though I got 13 little items um I want that kid to be picking in that basket for a minute. Because I know I picked up a basket one time. And by the time I opened the basket for my kid, the, everything was gone. Everything was open, everything was gone. He had, they had that basket for like five minutes. So I do want to have it where they stuck with this basket for a minute. You get what I'm saying? And yeah, I am offering the free basket, free basket for $125. So I do need to add that in. But other than that, I'm going to box the bag this up. Put a pretty bow on it. And call it a day, y'all. That is it for my Cocomelon concept. Hopefully you can find this. But if you can't, like you saw, I only put a few Dollar Tree items. Besides this, I only put three Cocomelon items. It don't take much to bring out that carousel basket, y'all. Add other stuff in there with it. Do what you can do. But make sure it's cute, wrapped up, pretty, and they gonna buy it. It looks full like my baskets. I got the Skittles and the Welches. Anywhere I see a little space, that just covered it up. I slide it right to the side. That way when I spin my basket around and do my video they're gonna see it's full all the way through okay all right y'all oh i need to whoa i know you ain't finna fall Woo, good catch sorry about that y'all what happened i don't know what happened but um i was about to spin it back around so y'all can see that i needed to add some candy right here and i caught that spot but thank goodness it didn't fall and i only have to sit this stuff back up I'll see y'all in the next video. I still haven't gotten to my Spider-Man. I have Toy Story. I have Star Wars, Enchanted. Um, I didn't do any Disney yet. Minnie Mouse. Little Pony. Like, I got so many more character baskets to make. And I still haven't even got to my inexpensive baskets yet. So, keep tuning in. Hopefully, you get some good ideas. We're running down on time. We now have less than... Um, what three weeks to make these baskets and i'm going out on the first so yeah like less than two weeks actually so um i'll see y'all in the next video y'all i hope y'all gave this video a thumbs up and have also subscribed to this channel if you just stumbled upon it looking for some ideas go ahead and subscribe to this channel i sure appreciate it and i'll see y'all in the next video or should i show y'all it wraps first before i end this video because y'all know i like i'd be popping back in like somebody favorite cuz let me see I think I want to show y'all this with the bow wrap, don't it? I'll do that and then we'll finish it up. Alright y'all, so I am back and I have wrapped the basket. That's it with a bow on it. Um, I caught quite a, quite, a, quite a few wrinkles here because I was pulling my um, handle to not bend my book as much. And it kind of 
put too much stress on my basket but overall it's still a cute bag i should have probably just did it like i did this one which i use a dome bag that i got from uline i'll include the link in the description it's a little bit it's not too much costly but um once i put it down you just basically put the bag instead of taking it and putting it where we have a um piece at the top just put it on backwards downwards so you'll have your um top like that so that's what i basically did to this one and then i went up under the chair with some tape um and it fit right in that bag perfectly y'all but that's it that's how it looks i didn't i didn't want to go this direction with it because first of all my bag was too small and on top of that, I didn't really want to add a bow because this one can go for a boy for a girl. Either can that one too. So if I'm, I want, they wanted it for a boy, I can easily just take this bow off. But it's not too girly. But if I had to, I'd take that bow off and just put a plain blue bow. Uh, but that's it, y'all. This is this basket wrapped. I had put this sticker here. I could take it off this for a boy. I got it from um, Dollar Tree. It was a window clean Easter sticker. Um, but I could easily take that off the paper, you know, if I feel like it's too girly, you know, and just leave it like that. Let it be. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this sticker out because I don't know if it's going for a girl or a boy. But that's it, y'all. That's that completed chill. That's that completed box. And I will see y'all on the next video. Like I said, this box is going to go for 50 And this box is, and this chair is going for 80 Minimum I'll take is 75 Minimum I'll take is 45 other than that, y'all, I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. Success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't want to let myself down my